And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So, today we will be doing another free code camp challenge. This time it is implementing the bubble sort. Personally, I feel this should have been in the lessons section and not the challenging section, but it's fine. Let's continue. So I'm not going to read for all of this. I'm going to give you my explanation of what they want and how the bubble sort works. There's the template code. We can just Alt Tab, and here we go. So basically, what all of that says is the bubble sort is just a way to sort an array, and this array or this sorting method is usually not the fastest or the best to use in any situation, but it's really easy to learn and understand. So yeah, let's continue and actually do it. Now just quick disclaimer, if you guys have not yet done this challenge, please try it yourself first and only if you have already finished it or is really struggling to finish it, come and watch my video. Otherwise you can watch on and I will show you how to do the bubble sort. So how does the bubble sort work? Now the bubble sort basically does this. It puts a pointer at one index and a pointer at the second index. It compares the two in the array and checks which one is bigger. If it sees one that is bigger than the other one, then it swaps them. Otherwise, it just continues. So then it goes, puts a pointer here and then a pointer here. Now it sees that these two are different in size and the one that is smaller is at the wrong side. Because we are trying to sort from small to large, least to greatest. So, it's going to take this, this 2, and put, make that a 4, and this 42, and then it's going to continue, and do that again, and again, and again, until the whole array has been sorted. So to do this, we will have to create two for loops. For let i equal 0, while i is less than array dot length i plus plus. And then for let j equals and here you can either choose to make j one or if you want to make it more dynamic i plus one because j has to be more than i by one number and the reason why i say making it dynamic is because if i changes to let's say five four or five and you made this one instead of i plus one then you have to change this j as well so if you forget to change the j then you're going to have a problem and then well, j is less than array dot length j plus plus. Now we have to create an if statement, and this if statement will basically check which of the two is bigger. So, if array at index i, so let's say let's make this index i. So let's say i is now one because zero one, and j would then be two zero one two. So this is i and this is j. So if array at index 1 is bigger than array at index j, so that's checking if 4 is bigger than 2. And because it is, it's going to return true and it's going to continue with the if statement. We have to create a variable. This can be a temporary variable, so you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it temporary variable, or just temp. And I'm going to make it equal to array at index i. Then array at index i is going to become array at index j and an array at index j then becomes the temp variable we created so what happens here basically if we have to put it into an actual representation it's going to do this let's actually copy this so then I can show you how it happens so this is i right here no not tab space that's i and that's j now it compares the two it sees okay no i is smaller than j we can continue now j becomes 2 and i becomes 4 and it's going to compare the two and it's going to be like oh i see 4 is bigger than 2 which means we should go into the if statement let temp becomes array at index i so nothing really happens array at index i becomes array at index j so array at index i becomes array at index j so it becomes 2 and then array at index j becomes temp and temp is array at index i or what it was what it used to be so then it's going to do this 
and now this first part is sorted then it's going to continue to the next one and compare those two and it's going to go over and over and over the array again until all of the indexes has been sorted and you don't have to worry so let's run this Ooh, nothing happening let's just add a console log here console.log array and then if we node that 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 8, 32, 43, 43, 55, 63 and it just goes on it gets bigger so it is being sorted and if you want to sort it the other way around you can just flip this and that will be from big to small so yeah it's up to you what you want to do but since they want us to go from small to big we can just keep it like it was now we can go back here and see if they will accept it run the tests and they accepted it and that's how you do the bubble sort if you want a more detailed explanation on how to bubble sort works and how to do it there will be two links in the description each one of them explaining the bubble sort thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and see you all in the next video